So here's what happened. The judge saw that this man was repeatedly making posts on social media, complaining about her and blaming her for the death of his son. And she felt uncomfortable, even threatened. So she contacted the Macomb County Sheriff's Office. They investigated and they specifically found no evidence of any threats, but still he is in jail. His family says he's being punished for exercising his right to free speech. He was so full of life. I'm trying not to cry. On September 22nd, it will be the two year anniversary of the day Deborah Vanderhagen's grandson Killian lost his life. When I met with her at her home in Chesterfield Township, you could tell the emotions are still raw. That this kid fought from day one every single day to become normal. And then before he hits two to pull the rug out. She believes her son, Jonathan Vanderhagen, is justified in feeling the court cost her grandson his life. He died in the custody of his mom after her son asked for sole custody. Something's going to happen to this child. You know, you need to get him away from the mother. There's too many red flags, all the evidence. And the judge said, oh, that was in the past. The police report after little Killian died shows he had a previous medical condition and investigators did not believe there was evidence Killian's mother was responsible. But his dad felt otherwise and repeatedly posted criticism of the Macomb County judge and friend of the court who saw his case. Someone called investigators. The Macomb County Sheriff's Office responded and found that he criticized what Judge Rachel Rensilio pinned on Pinterest as inappropriate. Posted videos saying he feels she and others are responsible for Killian's death. The investigative report also says at no time did he threaten harm or violence. Still, he was charged with malicious use of telecommunication services and released on bond until he posted more posts like this one. Now he is in jail with his bond at half a million dollars. He just wants justice. He's not out to attack anybody. He don't want to kill nobody. He don't want to he don't want anybody, you know, physically hurt. He wants them to acknowledge what they've done and get justice. One thing is clear, this family definitely is grieving the loss of two year old killing Nat Killian. Now a jury will decide whether Killian's dad is guilty of this misdemeanor at a trial mid this month on the 13th. We'll let you know what happens. Reporting live, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.